Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be reviewing the Therm Pro infrared thermometer. Now there's a link in the description below if you want to pick one up. This is not a sponsored video. I actually went out and bought this myself. So here it is out of the packaging. It comes with two AAA batteries. And at first I was confused of where the batteries even go. The black strip on the handle folds out and you can see the battery compartment right there. So this can toggle between Fahrenheit and Celsius, and it has a range of minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 1022 degrees Fahrenheit. It also has a laser, a pointer laser, but you can turn this off. It's very easy. According to the manual, the ideal distance between the subject and the thermometer is seven and a half inches, but I was able to get an accurate reading from seven and a half inches and drawing it further back by quite a bit, almost three feet, and was still able to get an accurate reading. Now it gives a constant readout of whatever temperature you're pointing it at, but it also gives you the option of remembering the highest, the lowest, or it gives you an average of all of the temperature range from whatever item you've read the temperature from. The display screen also has a light that you can toggle on and off or it'll come on when you pull the trigger to get a reading. Now the sensitivity of the Therm Pro can be adjusted depending on what surface you are trying to get a reading from. And it has a chart that shows you what you should set the thermometer to depending on the material that you're using. For general temperature measurements, it seems fine on pretty much any surface, but if you really wanna get precise, you can take a piece of masking tape, put it down on a surface that you're not getting an accurate reading from. Granite countertops, stone countertops for one uh, that are shiny and reflective can cause problems. Put a piece of masking tape down on it, wait for the tape to uh, balance the temperature, and then scan the tape. That will tell you the temperature of the stone more accurately. Now the whole reason that I bought this thermometer in the first place was to test the stone in my wood fire pizza oven, this Uni Freya here. More videos on that in the future, but I use this to test the temperature of the stone. It has to get to 900 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's kind of tricky if you don't have one of these to really know. And these pizzas cook in seconds, but if your temperature is off, then you're going to have a problem. So it's been really interesting having a thermometer like this because you can just walk around the house testing all kinds of random things. But one of the things that I realized is light bulbs, even LED light bulbs, are at a constant temperature of around 90 to 100 degrees. Incandescent bulbs are even higher. So if you have multiple bulbs on at 100 degrees in the summertime, you are really heating your house up unnecessarily. If you don't need the lights on, it's worth turning them off. So I really have no complaints about this thermometer. The price was right. The features are perfect. If I did have one complaint, it would be that there's only one way to set this down, and that's on its side. I wouldn't mind if there was a little more weight in the base that I could just set it down and grab it, um, but that's fine. I mean, what kind of complaint is that? It really is a great thermometer. So that's it for the Therm Pro. Let me know your thoughts or any questions that you have in the comment section below. And if you could, it would really help me out if you gave this video a like. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Or if you're looking at or purchased a different thermometer, I'd like to know which one you got and why. But for the price point, you really can't go wrong with this. So thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, click subscribe. Have a great day.